Hey everyone, this is um, just a quick video of my 1990 GT Mach 1. Um, it's somewhat complete, but this is probably the most uh, complete I've had it at. As you can tell, it looks kind of nice, clean. Um, let's start off from the back here. So these uh, tires are kind of cheap. Uh, I think I bought the pair for 30 bucks and eventually I'll get a GT tires to match with it. But I've uh, been spending a lot of money on this bike, so I'm gonna give it a pause. But the uh, this back rim here is a um, Araya rim. And the uh, hub in there is a, they call it Suzy, I think is what they, what you would say uh, I do have the original uh, GT hub but for now I really like this look I always like chrome so I put that on there for now it's back brake uh, a buddy of mine in Ventura helped me assemble this when I got it, it goes by Jason and uh, he was able to install that brake for me because I didn't have any. Now this seat post you see here, it is from a, I believe it was an interceptor that I ended up getting it from because it did not come with the seat post, but uh, it is stamped. And uh, there's the, uh, the seat clamp, There's two bolts on it. This uh, seat, I ended up getting it from a guy on Facebook who wanted to trade me for a Schwinn seat that I had, so it worked out. Here are the cranks. Sprocket. These little bolts are actually uh, stamped GT minus one of them, which is uh, that one there. I need to look around for them but they're really expensive they're like 60 bucks for I think the set of five or something so I don't know like I said I've been spending too much money on this bike I still need to get some grips I'm gonna change it they're just basic black ones and here is the GT hub original in there somewhere GT and it is a GT stem now it did not come with the stem it had a dyno stem on it and I had to go on offer up and find I actually found a dyno frame with a GT stem go figure so, there you go. These pedals came with it. I believe they're original, but it is missing a part out here, another set. GT Power Series. It's stamped on the uh, cranks there. So that is it, GT Mach 1. It's stamped January of 1990, so I believe it is a 1990 year. If I'm incorrect, please leave a comment.